Saludos desde Colombia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Ojalá que todo le va bien por allá. I couldn't read that fast enough. What did you ask me if I, I'm lip syncing something or what? Lip thing. What's lip thing? My lip thing. You like the lipstick? It's sugar pill. Hi, how are y'all this evening? Como les va? Bien, I'm just putting on my nails. I was <laughs> running late. I had so much to do today. I've been babysitting some dogs. Angel butt, you know. Oh, you live in Vernon. How is that? Vernon, L.A., huh? That's in L.A. I know Vernon. I've heard of it. Come back to Malburn. Oh, very soon. Yes. Awesome. Aww. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Hola. Que gusto me da que han llegado. Nighttime hussy. I'm not doing any hustling, so I don't really feel that I'm a hussy right now. Do you think I'm a hussy? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hi, New Zealand. How are you? So nice to see you. Hello. Que gusto me da mirarte. Um, All Stars 3, what do I think? I, To be honest with you, I love Trixie Mattel. She's one of my favorites. I think she's awesome. Do y'all like Trixie? I mean, it doesn't matter if you like her or not. What matters is... is is that I like her and we don't want to feed into any trolls, you know, because we're not into trolls. You know what I mean? It's 2 a.m. My goodness. Well, too bad. I mean, you know, it's 2 a.m. It's 3 a.m. somewhere else, right? Te gusta. Te gusta Trixie también? Pues que bien. Muy bien. Awesome. You love Trixie? Awesome. She's awesome. Tonight, um, the album we'll be listening to, or that we're listening to, is uh, Father John Massey. Father John Misty? Misty. Father John Misty. Hi, Trixie. Oh, that's not Trixie. That's an impersonator. See, Father John Misty. Isn't it a pretty album? Estamos oyendo este disco de Father John Misty, el vinel, el vinel, vinyl vinyl. Hola Brasil, hello. It's a really beautiful album. It's really inspiring to me. Hi. So that's what we're listening tonight, Father John Misty. Awesome. Saludos desde Mexico. Hola. Gracias. Thank you. Beautiful. Hola, Mexico. You love the song. Thank you, Father John Misty. The album, I just got it in the mail. It's a year old. Very good. It's a little bit of a, well, I'm going to say a downer, but I, I really like it. It's really good, though. I bought four of these albums. Have I listened to Jinx Monsoon's album? We're going to talk about that album one time very soon, Jinx Monsoon's album, right? Did that make you happy? No, tonight we're listening to Father John Misty. This is the back side. This is the front side. Hola Ciudad de México, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Ando practicando mi español de vuelta. Lo estoy practicando en YouTube, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ahí por YouTube ando practicando mi español, ¿ya? Yeah. Oh, 
people adore Delano's music. I think it's wonderful. I think Adore Delano is fantastic. I really like Adore Delano. I get along superb with her. Do I see Dragula? Not as much as I would like to, but I do perform with them from time to time. Yes. This light is a little harsh, and as time goes on, we're going to change it because, I, you know, I smile so much, and so look what's happening. I'm getting these <laughs> big muscle right here. In here. Músculo, porque siempre estoy sonriendo tanto, con mucha sonrisa. Ay, mira lo que me está pasando una línea que están por acá, mira eso. No Botox here, honey. Hi, how are you? Come to Argentina. Pues ojalá un día voy a Argentina, me daría gusto ir a Argentina, ¿sí? Muy bello Argentina, ¿verdad? Hi, good evening. Hello, hola. Buenas noches. Good evening. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, how we doing? Look, I got my vanities wig on. Wigs by vanity. Vanity's going to be making a lot of my natural wigs for me. That's her goal. How are y'all this evening? Hello. Hola. Saludos desde Colombia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Ojalá que todo le va bien por allá. I couldn't read that fast enough. What did you ask me if I, I'm lip syncing something or what? Lip thing. What's lip thing? My lip thing. You like the lipstick? It's sugar pill. Hi, how are y'all this evening? Como les va? Bien, I'm just putting on my nails. <laughs> We're, I was running late. I had so much to do today. I've been babysitting some dogs. Angel butt, you know. Oh, you live in Vernon. How is that? Vernon, L.A., huh? That's in L.A. I know Vernon. I've heard of it. Come back to Malburn. Oh, very soon. Yes. Awesome. Aw. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Hola. Que gusto me da que han llegado. Nighttime hussy. I'm not doing any hustling, so I don't really feel that I'm a hussy right now. Do you think I'm a hussy? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hi, New Zealand. How are you? So nice to see you. Hello. Que gusto me da mirarte. Um, All Stars 3, what do I think? I, To be honest with you, I love Trixie Mattel. She's one of my favorites. I think she's awesome. Do y'all like Trixie? I mean, it doesn't matter if you like her or not. What matters is... is is that I like her and we don't want to feed into any trolls, you know, because we're not into trolls. Know what I mean? It's 2 a.m. My goodness. Well, too bad. I mean, you know, it's 2 a.m. It's 3 a.m. somewhere else, right? Te gusta... Te gusta Trixie también? Pues que bien. Like track number two on the album Honey Bear. We're talking right now Father John Misty. And we're listening to Father John Misty this evening, and she just asked me if I like the album Honey Bear. And I think the album Honey Bear is phenomenal. Actually, Father John Misty has inspired me so much this um, past week. I think he's phenomenal, a phenomenal artist. Wonderful inspiration. Am I prepared for all stars? Oh, yeah. Do I like Alaska's music? Do you know that Alaska once wrote a song, and the song is called Trannies Are Fierce? And um, I personally think that was really fun. Trannies Are Fierce because they have big guns. And um, the song she even mentions, myself and Angina. But she won't sing that song anymore, Trannies Are Fierce. 
because of the tra the transgender controversy and stuff. But I say just put it out there, right? You know what I mean? Oh, Alaska bought um, she bought three of my rag queens. Isn't that cool? Three of my rag queens. Benefit, huh? Please send you a kiss. Te mando un beso así. Do you like her music? I hope so. Do you like my music? That's a better question, isn't it? Do you like my music? Oh, you love my earrings? I got them in Brazil. Los compré en Brazil. You're gonna like this album right here. Father John Misty talks about all those kind of things we're talking about, you and me. Hi, Integration, thank you. Did you get the wig in the mail that I sent already? Did it come? I hope so. You like Clam Happy, huh? What am I drinking this evening? Tonight I'm drinking a little rum and Coke. Rum and Coca-Cola, yes. Even though Coca-Cola is a mm, country sunshine place. Yeah, country sunshine. Oh, you did get the wig. Awesome. You like Clam Happy. Oh, we love Clam Happy. Who are you and the dogs? Are you on a date? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Double dating with me. Um, have you heard this album, though? I'm just curious. Oh, Lanesha? Hi, Lanesha. You know, Tamara Cafe. Te quiero mucho. Pues yo también te quiero mucho. It's really good. It's a great album. It's really inspired me, actually, as an artist. And, and like, because we're so environmentally active and, and conscious of what's going on, this album is all about that. So, it's a plus. Yes, Father John Misty, of course. Yes, he's awesome and he's very sexy. Oh, so beautiful. A great performer, you know. Actually, I would like to work with him in the future. There's several people that I would like to work with in the future as this grows. And who knows, maybe one day he might be on um, my live feed. You never know. Anything is possible, and I'm working towards that. I want to build this up and build this up and just explode. Um, climate change is a reality. Oh, well, a lot of people want to disagree and say that CNN is terrible. <laughs> That's what I've been hearing a lot lately. A lot of people get really angry at me and they say, I'm a Republican. No, actually, I am a, um, what do they say? Um, I can't even think of it right now. <laughs> Over my head. No, but I believe climate change is a reality. And there was ice on our car yesterday. We had a major freeze here in Texas. Yes, we did. Um, here where I'm living in Texas, yes. I mean, there was ice on the car. Top three people I would like to sing with. Number one person I would love to sing with would have to be Amanda Lear. I would love to sing with Amanda Lear. And I would say Tina Turner, but I've already been singing with her for 20 some odd years. 22 years with Tina Turner. <laughs> Snow in Florida. Really? How about that? Not good for the fruit, is it? You're visiting Austin in February. Places I can recommend in Austin. Um, let's see. Austin, we'll have to think about that. Uh, there's the 24 Diner, which is really good. It's open 24 hours, and they have really good shakes, really good food. Austin is just explore it and enjoy it. That's all I have to say. Or I would say since you're in Texas... And I would go to a Half Price Books, which is a chain we have here of books. And they sell records and used records and books. It's amazing. You're in Ontario. Is that Ontario, Canada? And um, Ontario, Canada or Ontario, California? Hmm. Vena Chile. What's my favorite 
part of makeup are my favorite makeup. Do I like Houston? Huh, what do I think about Houston? I think it's great. I just think that they built it on some wetlands. That's not a good idea, right? I heard that they have a lot of crime there, but there's crime everywhere, isn't there? Peru. I would love to come to Peru. We'll see. Very soon, I should hope. California? What about California? You wish what? Shade? What do you mean shade? Why is there shade? Oh, 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 shade. Shady lady? Do you ever heard of the drag queen? Have you ever heard of the drag queen shady lady? Sexy Tejana, gracias. Si, sí, soy muy sexy. Así, sexy para ti. Para ustedes. Tonight I'm wearing some bottom lashes. I could try to show y'all, but... Oh, will I be selling my makeup wipe from this evening? Oh, well, of course I will. Um, somebody asked me earlier if I watched Dragula, and I said not enough. But I do love them. The Boulet brothers are awesome. And I have performed at Dragula. Last time I was there, I have to tell you, I think I was a little too inebriated. You wish you were in Ontario, California? You're in Ontario. Um, Ontario. That is Canada. Yes, like I said, last time I did um, the Dragula, I felt a little too inebriated. That rum got to me. Ugh. And it got to me good. It's pretty bad. Is this human hair? No, this is actually synthetic. Um, I have switched over to human hairs. I will no longer be buying synthetics. I will be buying human hairs. And I bought this one pre-New Year. And uh, hopefully very soon, my next wig will be a synthetic that um, I am sponsored by. Yes. So if that answers that, that answers that. I'm planning on switching over every wig from now on that I purchase will be a human hair. But I'm not going to get rid of my synthetic wigs that I have already. I will just reuse them. How's that sound? But this is a wig from Wigs by Vanity, yes. Oh, te gusta mis live Instagram. Hermosa y mágica. Ay, pues gracias tanto. Gracias, gracias tanto. So nice to hear that. You like my ring? Awesome. It's from a... An artist, Nick, made it for me. It's 21 carats of um, 21 carats of amethyst and citrine. Yes, it's nice, huh? Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to switch the record. I'm going to flip the record over, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> Y'all almost flipped over. Oh, goodness, there we go. Hot tamale. Yes, I, you know, tonight we're playing Father John Misty. That's correct. And we're going to play the second half. There's four parts to this album. Four parts. It's a double album. Double disc. It's a very beautiful album. Look at the artwork, too. It's very phenomenal. Look at that. Oh, muscle man on a cross. Oh, look at that wheelchair guy. Hey, Gay Gibson. Look, there's a bear. Un osito. Look at it. It's very... Oh, the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, my God. Motorbikes and pantyhose. All right. We're switching the album. It's a very... It's, it's a wonderful album. And we're not switching the album. We're turning the album around. How's that sound to y'all? Good? You want a record player? Well, then I suggest you purchase one. It's not that hard. Now they're everywhere. They even have them at department stores again. It's very hip to have records... Although records are made of plastic. Y'all know that, right? Yes, plastic. Plastico. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. It's been very nice. Are you going to purchase one? A record player. Awesome. Someone said earlier they like my necklace. Hola. My necklace is actual, um, well, what is it? It's actual turquoise. Yes, turquoise. Thank you. And the band-aid. Yes, the band-aid. It's almost like Michael Jackson, isn't it? The plasta. <laughs> 
Why do I wear a band-aid? Because I need to go to the doctor and get my finger checked out, that's why. And also using it a lot in certain, it kind of wears down my skin. Hola from Baja California. Hola, how are you? You want to get more records? Awesome. You know, records used to be really inexpensive. And I've been collecting records probably for the past, um, how long have I been collecting records? Uh, probably uh, for, what is it, uh, 20 years now almost. Yes. Do I like my favorite drag racers? Oh, of course I love them. How about Stevie Nicks? I think Stevie Nicks is great witchy woman, yes. And I liked when she manifested on that show, what was it we were all watching? The, um, the one with the witches or whatever? It's very nice, yes. That Ryan Murphy show we were all watching, yes. That one was... Uh, I don't like Ryan Murphy's productions, to be honest with you. I think they're trite. Trite. They're just typical. Yeah, I said it. No one cares about All Stars 3. Is shit today, bitch, unuseful? God, what was that all about? Let's just be nice. You know? What did your... Your parents gave you a record player. Awesome. No te... No puedo leer lo que escribiste ahí. Besides my local queens, which queens inspire me the most? I like how you said local queens. Um, queens that inspire me the most. Um, right now, I'm being influenced and inspired by um, Father John Misty. Yes, Father John Misty. Um, queens that inspire me. I, you know who I watch a lot? I, I do watch a lot of um, Miss Thing, um, Vanity. Who made my wig? Yes, who styled my wig? She inspires me a lot. Yes, Vanity does. And you, who inspires you? Who inspires y'all? <laughs> Besides me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did someone ask me how I deal with the fame? Um, how do I deal with the fame? Well, I, I'm a little more reserved now. I'm a little more. Um, I mind my own business. I, it's Colombia, hola. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, I inspire you. Well, thank you. But I'm a little more guarded now, actually. I don't let anybody in. And you, would love, you met me one day at the grocery store out of Dragon Long Beach. Yes. Trixie, because she won All-Stars. How do you know she won All-Stars? Do you have a magical ball? Do you have a crystal ball? Are you a soothsayer? Do you know something we don't know? Um, but the way I deal with the fame is I just go with it and I put myself out there. Um, I'm just a little more guarded when I talk to people and everything else. I, you know, just guarded actually meeting people as well. Yeah. Greetings from Chicago. Hello, Chicago. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Yeah, you can't worry about what other people think. And, you know, I hang out with a lot of people, like, I hang out with the people that are in their 90s, and you have to be unapologetically yourself. Just don't hurt anybody. Just be yourself. Like, I have to deal with things, too, now that I've moved here to Texas. I mean, some of the people, they're really conservative, or they're really... Everybody's mad about the Fox News and everything else. And it's just like, what is the fuck is your problem? Excuse your mouth, RuPaul. But I mean, what is the problem? There's a lot of corrupt things going on and we should help out. Portland, hi, how are you? Besos, is that Portland, Texas or Portland, Oregon? Isn't there a Portland, Maine? <laughs> Hello from Canada. Thank you all for tuning in to this evening. I'm I'm here. I'm live, and Oregon also Portland, Oregon. Hi, te amo tanto también. Gracias. 
Pues tienes que ser um, lo, lo quien eres. I always get that I'm the Andy Kaufman or the mm. Frida Carlo of drag. And I think that's awesome. Andy Kaufman, Frida Carlo. That is amazing. What do I think about Katya? Katya, I think she is awesome. I think the B-52s are great too. I'm yeah, rock lobster. People also say that my music is sometimes like the B-52s. But I think Katya is awesome. She's a sweetheart. And she's unapolog unapologetically Katya, which I like about her too. Jackie Beat likes her as well. Oh, you like this song as well, Leaving L.A.? I have to tell you, it's my favorite one on the album. That's right, on this album. And it's 15 minutes long. And I think it's beautiful. And last night I was listening to the album and I was crying. Este canción um, se llama Dejando, Indo de Los Angeles, de L.A., saliendo de L.A. Y es mi canción más favorita del album. Del disco de Father John Misty. Búscalo, Father John Misty. It's really good. Yes. These LA phonies and their bullshit bands. It is beautiful, listen, it's a beautiful song. Do I like Sharon Needles? Sharon Needles likes me. She does like me a lot, and I like her as well. <laughs> I think she's fun. She's a little too shock value sometimes, but hey, whatever works. Queen, I love you. Brazil. Hola. Brazil. I love you too. Thank you. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Gracias por llegar a mirarme, a saludarme. Gracias por saludarme. He does have a haunting voice, doesn't it? Um, it's a beautiful voice. Ways, ways, blood, huh? I should listen to that. Well, message me, MD me, and I'll look him up, okay? Te gusta la tequila. Do I like tequila? I have to tell you, I have to be careful with tequila because I get a little... Me pongo a veces una poca corajuda que me mezclaba. Sí. No problema, ¿verdad? Who's my favorite drag queen? Well, I always say Lady Bunny. And I'm friends with Lady Bunny. Benefit. Just run the tap until the water's cold. Oh, gracias. Muchos abrazos desde Guatemala. Hola, Guatemala. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? A creation meant for a 45. Do I read poetry? Uh, sometimes I have, and I'm really interested in Aztec poetry, actually, because the Aztecs, they, they wrote a lot of poetry, and I'm curious about reading their poetry. Actually, I'm curious about learning the Aztec tongue, Netwa. Mm. Yes, I would like to learn... Um, the Aztec tongue. Me daría gusto aprender el idioma azteca, sí. Y leer sus escrituras, sus poemas, poemas, poems, sí. Oh, you wish you would have met. Saludos desde México. Hola. You wish you would have met Divine. I know Divine is one of my favorite drag queens as well. I love Divine. She's really fun. Cuando vengo a Chile, pues no sé cuándo me invitan. Es cuando, sí, sí. Nuetal, Nuetal. Ay, perdóname por no decirlo bien. También me gustaría aprender el idioma su Lakota, la Lakota. Sí. Ya sé de eso. My scar, un cicatriz. I got it when I was a kid. Someone was drunk driving. Andaban manejando y andaban tomando y te, yo estaba en el carro y mira. <laughs> That's the truth. 
Spanish and Portuguese are similar. Do you speak words in Portuguese? Saldage, saldage, saldage. Saldage, sí. Um, Portuguese, I would like to learn, but it's, a, it's kind of, it's a little more difficult than Spanish. I think. But hey, we'll try. You can practice with me. Te amo también, gracias. Saludo a ti también, gracias. Gracias por saludarme. Do I speak Greek? Oh no, goodness. <laughs> But I love baklava. What am I drinking? I said earlier, a little rum and coke. Actually, a Cuba Libra. Because lime, a lemon is an insult to lime. <laughs> lemon is an insult to lime, but I do like lemon and lime both. I think they're just so good. Am I a Frida Carlo fan? I think she's tip top. Like I said, everybody considers me um, the Andy Kaufman of drag or Frida Carlo of drag, which I think is such a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> True artistry, right? O las empanadas, eh? In Chile, son muy ricas. De pino, de pino. Empanadas de pino, ahí en Chile, son muy ricas. Okay? Vemos? Lo voy a probar. My fake name. What's your fake name? So I never learned to play the lead guitar. Why did this record make me cry? I can just relate to it um, environmentally, um, politically. What he's saying, what he's singing about, I understand, I can relate, I'm an artist, you know, I want to be on the Billboard pop charts, I want to win awards, Oscars and Grammys and things like that, you know. Now look at me, tonight I'm live, just so I can get more ratings. I mean, hello. <laughs> Makes sense, this album. That's why it made me cry. It is a little heavy, this album, though. Oh, Latrice Royale? She's a sweet, sweet, sweetheart. Yes, she is. And he also speaks of national treasure, which everybody calls me a national treasure. That's why I attack myself. Hashtag national treasure because people are always saying, Tammy, you're a national treasure. Oh, thank you. I feel good tonight. But does that explain why the album made me cry? A lot of music sometimes moves me to tears, but right now this album is really bad. And I just discovered him last weekend. National treasure. Underwater fantasy. Oh, this? Y'all want me to play the other half of the album or should I turn this off? Do I talk to Nina Flowers? I sent Nina Flowers uh, two live messages yesterday here on Instagram. So we will see. Um, you like the music, Father John Misty? Thank you. Uh, we'll see if she replied. I don't know. Nina's busy. You know, everybody's busy. I don't know how to say this, you know. 
Can I speak in a deeper voice, please? What, is this going to turn you on later tonight, or what? Or should I turn the music down? Does that help you out? <laughs> What is my mood? Ask me that question again. What's my mood? You love the music? I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really moves me in a way. Yep. So we'll continue on. Um, who's my favorite all star? Well, me. Tammy Brown. Hello. Who do you think? <laughs> Also, um, Zodiac, what's my Zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. What's yours? I have this one for sale. This is for sale this week. If y'all would like to buy this per poster, I have it on sale for you all. Um, I should listen to Vampire Weekend. Really yes, this is made by a wonderful artist named Glenn with one with two ends. Yeah, that's what I've heard that he does really good covers. Um, Father John Misty. Um, Father John uh, Misty is a performer that I want to work with. Yes. Yes, Glenn. <laughs> with two ends, this Glenn. Glenn Sandoval is the illustrator of this poster here. So if you'd like to order one, please message me and I'll sell you one. Because when y'all order things from me, guess what? It keeps all this going, doesn't it? And if you'd like to order Tammy Brown Lashes, look... I got him. Awesome. Oh, you like Shakabuku you. Awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you like Shakabuku you. Benefit. I like Shakabuku a lot too. Mm -hmm. Rings. Hi. Oh, I can sign it for you. You mean sign this poster? Of course I can sign it for you. I can do whatever you want me to do with it. I can sign it. I can kiss it. <laughs> I'll even put on some lipstick and kiss it for you and put it in the mail. That's right. Les dije que querían saber si lo pude, podía firmarlo. Pues claro que lo puedo, puedo firmar. Hasta me pongo pinto de la, me pinto los labios y lo beso así. Y se lo mando. Como se lo mando a, a Pepe, a Juanita, a Julieta y a Julian. Julian, yes. I said I can kiss it and I can sign it and I can send it to you. Favorite period in art history? Mine right now. Living with you all and telling stories. That's right. Hi, I'm going to switch the album. I'm going to play part two of Father John Misty, my new album. Father John Misty, isn't this great? This is groovy. Glad I could come to you all this evening and um, be here with you all. And thank you all for tuning in tonight with me here. And I'm coming to you live from Fulton, Texas. That's right, Hurricane Harvey Survivors. And we've been talking the album Father John Misty. That's right, Father John Misty. And how inspiring he is. And people keep asking me, which drag queens inspire me? And right now I have to tell you, I've been inspired by Father John Misty. Have you all heard my um, single, Whatever? Whatever, whatever it may be. There's a war in the Middle East. There's a war in the Middle East. I don't care. I live in America. I'll run up my credit card. Visa, platinum, let's go. Whatever, whatever. What did you say? You have a, a history exam coming up? Awesome. You should do Native American history here in the United States. What's my favorite Father John Misty song? 
Um, it might be right now on this album tonight is Leaving L.A. On this album tonight, the favorite song is Leaving L.A., which is really long. Uh, 15 minutes long. But I'm used to long songs. Some of my favorite songs are long songs. Starting with Proud Mary. The full version of Proud Mary is up to uh, five minutes long. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite jo fav Father John Misty song? Soy Latina. No, soy Tejana. ¿Y usted eres Latino? ¿O eres Latina? ¿Vosé es Latino? ¿Vosé? ¿Volverías, vol, ¿Volverías a Drag Race? Um, oja, si me invitan, sí voy. Sí, para tener más fans, algo así. Porque ahora el show es máximo. Más, 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 más. Oh, you love Leaving L.A. as well as your favorite song? Awesome. Or Proud Mary. I mean, Proud Mary's tip-top. What did you ask about Father John Misty? I couldn't see that. Father John Misty. Yes, I think he's Austin. Uh, it went too fast. Hey, Mom. How about Milf? Are y'all having a good evening? Thank you for all for tuning in. BB's, is BB Sanahar Benyet 10th queen? 10th queen what? She's the winner of season one. Remember season one is the season that I'm on. Season one, RuPaul's Drag Race. And we filmed that this year, um, 10 years ago. Season one, we filmed it 10 years ago. Yes, we did. 10 years ago, there in um, Burbank, California, we filmed it. Yep, the summer of 2008, we filmed RuPaul's Drag Race, season one. You know, with Chanel, Angina. I have to tell you all, um, is, uh, I like Kylie Sonique. Do y'all like Kylie Sonique? I think, well, I'm not going to ask you if you like her. I like her, and that's all that matters, and she's phenomenal, and I think she's a really cool, um, She's a cool transgender person. <laughs> I mean, we're all dabbling in transgender. Most of us drag queens are, right? And she is smart. I also like Calpurnia Adams a lot, too. I think she's really cool, too. And I like another one named Danny Kay. Do y'all know Danny Kay? Danny Kay. Not the actor from Hollywood, but the, the drag queen from Los Angeles, Danny Kay trans person as well. Beautiful. I guess I'm spilling the tea. Clocking her tea. Clocking her tea. I look like Alyssa Edwards. I love Laganja Stranja. She's one of my favorites. What do I think about what? Something, um... Tengo novio. Si tengo novio... Uh, no tengo, estoy buscando amantes. Sí. But I only date for looks. Solo um, voy en citas por miradas. Por uh, como miran los hombres, sí. Ya yeah, que tengo una cosa muy grande así para mm, mamarlo, ¿verdad? Hay así, algo así, ¿verdad? Pero, no... Queen of Tongue Pops. No. You know who's the Queen of Tongue Pops, actually? The Queen of Tongue Pops is none other than who? Who is that? Huh? What? No, not Jazz and Masters. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, what, what's that one over there? From Chile. Hello. Ha, ha, ha. Te amo también. Gracias. Alyssa? No, she's not the Queen of Tongue Pops. No, no, no. She, no, she's not. Y'all y'all can't think who she is? Really? Well, I can't either. I forgot now. I'm just, I'm inebriated, I guess. Ya estoy así perra, desperdiciada, tomada, borracha. Pero peluda y desnuda, no. Peluda y desnuda, no. Eso no. 
Mayhem Miller, that's the queen I was telling y'all about. Now, that's the queen of the... Yeah. That's the queen of the party, actually. Before it, or Dora Delano, it was... Um, Sí, hablo español bien, gracias. Lo estoy practicando más para porque ustedes de Argentina y también de España dicen que hablo así peormente. Pero la verdad es que necesito practicar. Es difícil practicar aquí en Texas porque aquí hablan un idioma de, de, de como Tex-Mex o algo así mezclado el español con inglés y es una, un desastre. Y a veces me confundo y no puedo decir... Ello, él, él, ella, algo así, las palabras femeninas, masculinas, y los misleo por allá, por acá. Hello, Brazil, how are you? Cutie tootie. I love you. Besos. Bejos. Bejos. Yes. Oh, gracias. Me gusta mi español, gracias. Where, where did I learn Spanish? I learned Spanish in Mexico. I lived in Mexico. Bellos, bellos, bellos. Aprendí mi español en México. Sí. Viví en Nayarit y también Jalisco. Nayarit y Jalisco. Y también vacacionamos ahí. Por, um, también viví en Michoacán un parte de mi vida, pero Michoacán es muy peligroso. Ahí por Pátzcuaro, Michoacán, y tin, sin Sansun San, Michoacán. So what I'm saying is I lived in Michoacán, I lived in Jalisco, Guadalajara, Jalisco, and then I lived in Nayarit. And in Nayarit, I lived in Rincón de Guayabitos, that's Mexico, and then I lived in Pátzcuaro, Pátzcuaro, Michoacán, sí. And that's a dangerous area. It's by Morelia, Mexico, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. In that movie Coco, la película Coco, también fueron a Michoacán, allá por Día de los Muertos, en, en, ahí en Pátzcuaro. And I used to live in Pátzcuaro, uh, or we'd go to Pátzcuaro for Day of the Dead, like three years in a row, the most amazing Day of the Dead festival. Beautiful. So that's how I learned Spanish. I learned it in Mexico. And I love Mexico. I am, I'm in love with Mexico. It's my second home. Oh, gracias. Buenos Aires. Besos, besos, besos. De Buenos Aires. Uh -huh. Argentina. Hola. Quizá un día voy por allá. Pero para Patagonia, como digo, para mirar las orcas, to watch the orcas. I would love to go to Patagonia and watch the orcas um, in the winter, which is the, the summer for the United States or summer for England, the United Kingdom. Uh -huh. You all right. <laughs> you all right. Did I see Dragula? I said not enough. I didn't see it enough. No. Why did I live there? Uh, well, my parents were sort of rebels, and uh, they wanted to leave the States and go live in Mexico, and we lived there. And it was nice. It was probably the best part of my life. I'm so thankful that I lived in Mexico. It influenced me in a way that I've never... As an American, we're, we're special, but not that special. Uh, well, we're all American. Solo Latinos somos Americanos, pero... Eh, México me dio algo original, algo de verdad. Something, Mexico gave me something that was real. How long did I live in Mexico? I lived in Mexico for probably, um, I think it was about five years. Maybe almost six because of the coming and going vacationing so much. I vacationed in Mexico a lot too as a child. Been to Cosa Mel, everything. But now when I go to Mexico, I'm going to start going. This summer I plan on going to Mexico, al Distrito Federal, and then to Puebla. And then from Puebla, quiero ir allá a Oaxaca. Y voy con un amigo mío, Carlos Coyote. He's on here too a veces. Es un artista fenomenal y vamos a ir allá a Oaxaca para mirar los que se vestiden de mujeres. No sé cómo se llaman, pero se vestiden de mujer y también a Oaxaca, ojalá, para el Día de los Muertos. Algo nuevo. 
porque solamente sé de lo de Michoacán. Y lo que es triste de Michoacán es que Michoacán nada más son puros peligros, ¿verdad? También dicen que hay por Guerrero también. Me da una lástima porque México es mi patria querida. <risa> Cuando hago show en México, when will I be doing a show in Mexico? Pues pronto, ojalá, sí. Tengo canciones en español, si quieren buscar ahí por eh, mi, mi disco, or mi, um, mi disco Hot Skunk, Sorrios Calientes, tengo canciones en español. Sí, Wigs by Vanity. Ajá, uh -huh, awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. Are you all having a nice time? We're just here listening to records. Gracias todos por venir y mirarme. Estamos aquí nada más oyendo los discos. The Father John Misty. Father John Misty, he's popular as well in Brazil. Do I have merch for sh for sale? Um, do I have? Well, I can. I can. T-shirts, yes. I have T-shirts, and um, you can buy them at Hunties.com. Uh, Hunties, yeah. Hunties has T-shirts. What's my favorite TV show? I don't think I have a favorite TV show. I um watch um i watch um youtube so i really don't have a favorite tv show every now and then i'll get onto a series and watch a little bit of it um but not too much um like i was watching those um whatever his name is the witch shows and blah 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 american horror story oh What's my favorite Joan Crawford movie? Oh, goodness. You caught me with that one. <laughs> my favorite Joan Crawford movie is um, The Damn Don't Cry. Then there's also Possessed. I love Possessed. But the 1940s Possessed. I think it's 1947's Possessed. There's a 1930s Possessed, but it's not as good. Alguien me preguntó que quién, cuál era mi película favorita, mi película favorita de... de Joan Crawford, y yo les dije que era la película The Damn Don't Cry o Possessed. Possessed es una de que me encanta, pero hay dos películas Possessed, hay dos, una de las tre de la 30, la año años 30, y después de las 40, años 40. La película de los años 40, Possessed, es fenomenal. It's phenomenal. Sí, me encanta. Oh, te gusta mi look. You like my look. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, you like... Well, I always try to be bilingual. I mean, I was thinking of some Japanese words to say when I was in the shower. Andaba pensando de palabras en japonés para decir en la ducha, cuando me andaba tomando la ducha, rasurándome, shaving and everything when I was in the shower. Ducha cuando me andaba bañando, pero... Oh, Joan Crawford or Betty Davis. I'm going to say I'm Team Joan and I'm Team Betty. I don't, it's not, Betty is, she's a phenomenal actress. I don't, I'm not going to play with her. I, she's my favorite, she's the, my favorite actress. My favorite actor is um, Jack Nicholson. I love Jack Nicholson. Do you like Jack Nicholson? He's phenomenal. Betty Davis is great. I love her. Um, I don't know this. Um, Gandalf? I don't know that one. Well, thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Oh, Team Morgan McMichaels? All I can say for Morgan McMichaels is that Elmer's glue is making a purple glue stick again. It works really well on the eyebrows. Yeah, Morgan. It works really well on the eyebrows. <laughs> I've known Morgan for a long time. She knows that. But I don't follow her on Instagram anymore. Shade. Shade. 
anyhow, um, but Morgan is an awesome entertainer, and I've known Morgan for a long time. Real long time. Was that shade? Shade, shade, shady lady. Get her. Me gusta la Lady Gaga. Como si, como sa. Como si, como sa. Como si, como sa. I like uh, Diana Ross more than Lady Gaga. Are there any shady bitches out there? Shady Lady? Have you ever heard of the drag queen Shady Lady? She's from San Antonio, Texas, and she was phenomenal. Ask Erin Davis from Corpus Christi, Texas. She was a phenomenal, fun queen. I, she might be around still. Who am I reading, rooting for all stars? Well, I think I'm a Trixie Mattel fan. Saludar, saludar. Hola, hola, que tal, hola. What's my favorite Amanda Lear song? Mm. Amanda Lear favorite song. My favorite time period of Amanda Lear's, of course, is when she first started out in the 70s, her career. But her music has been able to keep going. But my favorite Amanda Lear song, it's kind of hard to think about. Uh, maybe it's um, Enigma's, one of them. Mm, lover, lover, love me is another one, huh? Lover, lover, love me. I also love her Elvis covers as well, her Elvis covers. Please say, come on, Teletubbies, teleport us to Mars. Like that? In my season, was there any fierce queens? Of course, there was tons of fierce queens. Hello, look at me. Uh, no, uh, every there was so many fierce queens. When I walked into the room, I was like, oh, wow, okay. And I knew who every, the different styles. Like, of course, Nina, who I'm going to say first, is the very club style. And I love Nina. That's the fierce, fierce one. Um, Victoria Parker was fierce. She's very pageant fierce. Then you had um, Jade Storm is a cutie tootie rut and rooty. Yeah. Um, do I see Angina? From time to time I see Angina. I talk to Angina, yes. And I'm close with her husband still. Me and her husband are very close. Super close. Yes. Yes. What do I think about 4G Thor? She's tip top. She's very nice, tip top. One of my best friends thinks I should work with her. But we'll see um, how that goes. All right, everybody. It's saying that I only have one minute and um, 49 seconds remaining here. Who did my wig or who made my wig? That is, um, well, none other than the... Um, I like milk too, yes. Okay, you guys, I gotta go. If you'd like to order eyelashes, it's saying I only have one minute and 30 seconds remaining. So I have these eyelashes. If you'd like to buy some, I have them in stock. Yes, they sell pretty good. And then, um, hey there, can't wait to see you in San Diego either, Ed. Hi, say hi to Carlos, give him a kiss, romance. Mm. Um, this Father John Misty is the album we played tonight. It's awesome. Wig, yes, the wig. Hello, vanity. Are you not listening? You're not reading? What are you doing? Are you driving your car? Hello, Father John Misty was the album for the evening. If you'd like to buy this poster, we have one minute remaining, and they're going to cut the live feed off. All right, buenas noches. Arigato, moshi moshi. There's some Japanese. Les miro muy pronto. Thank you all for tuning in. Voy a Argentina muy pronto. Te amo también. Amo a México. Father John Misty. Kisses, besos. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. We have 38 seconds remaining. Remaining bananas or cherries. Oopsie daisy. What the hell's that? Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh,